Welcome to this week's episode of Studio 209. Hello and happy February to everybody out there. I'm your host, Eddie Ruiz, and we're bringing you an educational segment this week. Our very own Angelina Martin went to the Assyrian American Civic Club of Turlock where they were celebrating their 70th anniversary. Let's take a look right now. For 70 years, the Assyrian American Civic Club has been an integral part of the local community. We're here tonight to celebrate their history and learn more about their culture. <laughs> The Civic Club is celebrating 70 years tonight. What are some memories that you have of the club during your years that you've lived in Turlock? Well, I remember this, it wasn't here to start off with. It was Paul's Motel over on Golden State, and uh, you had to drive down a dirt road, and, and that's, that's where they held the parties. I remember Divine Gardens, big motel, and then when they first started building uh, the Civic Club, and uh, coming to all the parties, it, it was just awesome. Well, initially it was just a place for the Assyrian community to have a gathering social, but now we've become part of the community and it's more of a community center than it was in the past. We had the chief swearing in ceremony here. We have a lot of the activities in the organ that the organization holds for various other organizations like Salvation Army, uh, the AMC, the Festival of Trees is here. So we're just happy and proud that that we share this facility with the whole community. In today's world, we see all the refugees coming over from the Middle East and other areas. And, and as you know, Assyrians don't have a country. Uh, so we're spread out all over the, the uh, Middle East, Australia, and so forth. So the Civic Club has helped numerous and numerous families and continue to do so. And they help the community in the city, too. performing a dance at tonight's event. Can you tell me a little bit about the dance and its significance? Uh, we're doing about like five dances, okay. but these dancers are from like a very long time ago. <laughs> Co yeah, it's kind of been a, a long lasting tradition to dance during weddings, parties, kind of those sort of things, get togethers and gatherings. So it's kind of like an important thing to keep our tradition going. The fact that we know Assyrian culture, we are Assyrian culture, and we can do the dances, that's just awesome. Paul Warda is going to be honored here tonight. Can you tell me a little bit about him and what he's done for the community? Oh, Paul has been instrumental. Paul was, was the president of the organization. He was a key component, key player to for us to purchase this building back in the late 70s and we actually moved into this facility. Uh, he's such an ambitious and, and bright mind. We're just very grateful to have him. And you guys have made it to 70 years. What do you see the future holding for the Civic Club? Well, uh, it'll be nice to see 100 years. Right. So hopefully we're all here celebrating that together. At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Kaut und Leschla, ja, Peshat Murm Ta, Peshat Budishta don't forget to check out this episode and all episodes again at studio209.tv. Check us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe exclusively to the Turlock Journal YouTube channel. Now, if you look over my right shoulder, right there on that shelf, you're gonna see that there's a red heart. And why is there a red heart, you might be asking yourself? Because next week, we're gonna be covering National Wear Red Day with the Emanuel Hospital. Not gonna wanna miss that. I'm already wearing my red. So for everybody here at Studio 209, I'm Eddie Ruiz. See you next time.